Hi everyone, Donut here. Oh shit, you know what helps if I have audio. Hi everyone, Donut here, and today we are going to talk about public perception. It's usually wrong. <laughs> I have two police incidents that we're going to take a look at today that have everything to do with public perception. The first one that we're going to take a look at is a viral as hell video showing a high risk slash felony traffic stop on a female, and the other being the fatal shooting of a man by the name of Timothy Dill. Before we get into this video, I also want to say I know one of you piece of shit viral video licensing companies probably already bought this video from Ricky, but this is fair use all day long. Let's go ahead and start the video. Before we get into the first video, we're going to talk a little bit about what a felony traffic stop slash high risk traffic stop is. I'm just going to read the first thing that comes up on Google. You know, the, the thing that a lot of people should be using, that, that whole Google thing to figure out what's going on in certain incidents before jumping to conclusions. A felony or high risk traffic stop occurs when police stop a vehicle which they have strong reason to believe contains a driver or passenger suspected of having committed a serious crime, especially of a nature that would lead the police to believe the suspects may be armed. It's one of those traffic stops you see in the news sometimes, or you might see in real life, where a driver is ordered to get outside of the vehicle while the police have their weapons drawn on them. They get outside of the vehicle, they lift their shirt up so you can see their waistband, they spin in circles, they keep their hands up, and then they walk backwards towards the police. That's normal procedure for a felony traffic stop. Of course, the majority of everyone who watches this video's first reaction is, oh, the police, they're doing something incredibly wrong. Ricky at X Ricardo posted, so this happened today in Inglewood. The police stopped this woman and drew guns out at her, even though clear as day she had nothing in her hands. Wow, really? We got one, two, three, four, five. Five guns 2.23 million views. It was at about 100,000 when I found it last night. 50,539 retweets, 67,000 likes, and plenty of comments that are mind-numbingly ridiculous. Let's look at some of the comments. The top one says, It's called a felony traffic stop, and you have no context here as to what happened prior to filming. <laughs> What's this guy doing? What does he think he knows what he's talking about? Let's go ahead and uh, skip past the obvious racists here. If she were white and killed nine black folks in a church, the Bacon Brigade would have taken her to Burger King to have it her away. I bet she got the felony stop for not coming to a complete stop, turning right on red after Becky ran the red light to get her pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> White jokes. Four squad cars around eight cops with drawn with drone weapons <laughs> aimed at an unarmed woman. Exactly how black was she going when they pulled her over? What happened to her? Is she okay? We need an update, please. This is someone's daughter, someone's sister, girlfriend, or wife. They had the shotgun out like she robbed a bank. Shaking my head. Even robbing a bank wouldn't justify that. Robbing a fucking bank wouldn't justify pointing a shotgun at somebody? Where do these people even come from? Who cares if she'd broken the law? She's unarmed, facing away from them with her hands in there. She presents zero danger to them. There's no justification for having guns drawn. This got 5,000 likes. Have you guys ever heard of, it's, it's a very uncommon thing to do, concealed weapons? You guys ever heard of that? Some people can even draw a concealed weapon and land accurate shots. Let me point out something too about the whole shotgun thing. They had the shotgun out like you robbed a bank. Uh, it's a, see how it's green? That means it's got non-lethal rounds in it. Let me tell you a little bit about the woman in the video. This is 25-year-old Amber Nil. Amber, along with two other gentlemen, are facing 17 felony charges right now. On May 3rd, 2017, Amber and her two companions kidnapped a male and a female at gunpoint, pistol-whipped the male, stripped him naked, and held him in a bathtub for 30 hours. She was arrested here on the traffic stop in the video you just saw and held on a $1 million bill. What's even more ridiculous about this entire thing, though, is after all the information was released, that this woman had helped kidnap and torture someone, the original poster still agreed that the police used too much force in this situation. Ricky stated, with that being said, it does not matter what this woman did before the stop that would somehow justify the emotional trauma, humiliation, and the carelessness of life, the police, blah, blah, blah. You mean emotional trauma, humiliation, and carelessness like kidnapping someone, pistol whipping them, stripping them naked, and then holding them hostage for 30 hours in a bathtub. I don't have much more to say about this incident. A very dangerous person was taken off the streets without zero use of force, and people still find something to cry about. Next up, we're going to talk about the fatal shooting of Mr. Timothy Dill. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Next up, we're going to talk about the fatal shooting death of Mr. Timothy Dill by the Atlantic City Police Department in New Jersey. Before we get into the actual shooting of Dill, let's take a look at an article that was published shortly after he was shot and killed by police. The article title is Family Members and Friends Rally Outside Atlantic City Police Station Following Fatal Shooting. In this picture, you can see Gloria Dill, Timothy's mother, with family and friends protesting their loved one's death by the hands of the Atlantic City Police. According to the report, there was a memorial of candles, stuffed animals, balloons, and a sign that read Justice for Tim. His mom told reporters, we're here to get justice for Tim. They killed the wrong kid. I hate that this mother lost her son, but the kid that she's speaking of, 32-year-old Timothy Dill, walked up to a police officer and stabbed him in the chest. Yo, man. Put it down! Put it down! It's such a bizarre situation in itself because the two officers on scene weren't even there for anything that had to do with Timothy Dill. They were investigating a hit and run auto collision. I can't find anything that says any kind of motive behind why he walked up to two police officers and stabbed one of them, but I mean, regardless, it's a justified shooting all day long. My point behind showing you all this is pretty much the same thing I say every single one of my videos is you shouldn't, really, really shouldn't jump to conclusions when it comes to police incidents, especially viral videos. Nine times out of 10, there's a good reason why police did what they did. I'm not saying that there aren't police fuck ups or bad shootings, they happen, but if you look at the number of interactions that police have with the public, millions and millions and millions every year compared to how many of those incidents actually happen, it's, it's very, very low. It's a very, very low chance for those incidents actually happening. Just use that head on your shoulders. Google is your friend and people are liars. And don't ever believe an activist on Twitter, ever. Always do your own research when you see things on the internet. As soon as this video is uploaded, I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash donut operator. My last stream, we went over every single person killed by police in the United States in the month of May. And this stream, we're gonna go over some ridiculous police ideas that you guys gave me on Twitter. If you have sent me something to my PO box, I'm not ignoring you. I have a big bag of mail. I was saving it all up so I could open it on stream. And I'm about to put the patch wall up behind me so that that's going to be in the background of all my videos and all my streams. Before we jump off here, I know a lot of you have been seeing these police lip sync challenges all over the internet, all over Facebook. And my friend Jason Bourne, who is a former police officer and the owner of Millcore, he did one and he would like to submit his entry. Here you go, everyone. Stop! Just stop! And that is all I have for you fine people today. Check me out at twitch.tv slash donutoperator, patreon.com slash donutoperator if you want to help support the channel or get some super sweet merch at donutoperator.com. You're all amazing. Have a fantastic day.